In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, I'd like to show you how you can introduce text in the middle of the screen and make it move into position magically. This is using the Title Reveal Mask. I saw this technique recently in an advertisement that I really thought was intriguing, and I asked myself, how can I do this in PowerDirector? I'd like to show you a short clip that shows an example of that technique, and then we'll show you how we did that. I have on the screen several elements that you'll see here. I'll move the playhead back to the beginning so we can quickly see some of them. And I have a title in the upper left corner. I have another title dropping down. I have a video and I have some music playing in the background. So what I'd like to do at this point is add another title using this technique with the title reveal mask. To do that, I go to my title room. I can press the F7 key. I'm going to take the very generic my title and drag and drop that down onto what would be track number three for me in this particular case. Now what I want to do is edit that, so I'm going to double click on it. That will open up my title designer. Now you notice I've already put a grid in for my title in the background, so if you want to put one in, you have a box at the lower right below the preview screen. You can do a reference line, a safe zone, or grid lines. In this case, I've turned on my 10 by 10 grid lines. So what I want to do is choose my titles. I'm going to take the first one, highlight all the text. I'll change the font. I'm going to change my font family in this case. I want to change it to an Arial, so I'll choose the Arial from my drop-down list, and then I'll change the size. I'll go to 28 and I'll make it bold. There's something else I want to do with that title. I, I want it to appear a little more distinct, so I'm going to add a border. I'll turn to my border controls. I'll change the size, turn it on, change the size down to 2. I don't like the default color of blue. I will change that to black in my color selector and click on OK. And now I have the key elements of that particular title. I'm going to take the mouse and drag and lock it in in this location on my grid. And then I'm going to do Control A to select all of it again and say keep your doctor. Now I'm going to click again elsewhere with the left mouse and that will insert another title. It inherits the same characteristics of the previous title and I'm going to call this one Dental Available. And we could do obviously more than two but that's enough to illustrate it. And I'll make sure this is where I want it on my grid. Lock it in there. Now we have to do some other things with both of these. We're going to start with the top one, Dental Available. And I'd like to remind you that whatever title is active, you'll see the name of the title in the upper left corner of the Title Designer window. That helps you keep it straight. I want to use the Title Reveal Mask. So I'm going to click on the box next to Title Reveal Mask, and nothing changes. Why? Well, because the position is right in the center of the screen of the mask, and it's the full width and height of the screen. So the whole screen is masked, which means nothing seems to change. What I want to do now is I want to go to the lower left and turn off Maintain Aspect Ratio. We'll do that now. Now I'm going to change the mask. This only applies to the words Dental Available. I can take any of the corners. I'm going to drag, make sure I cover Dental Available. So think of the mask as the area where you see the title. If the title text is outside of this little box, you won't see it. So I'm going to make it come in by keyframing it. We're going to go in a ways. Let's go down to the keyframe controls. I'll set a timeline marker. And we'll go in an entire second. And at this point, I'm going to set a position keyframe. I want the title to be available, visible in the mask at one second. So I'm going to click the diamond and it will insert that. Now I want to go back to the beginning and I want the title to start outside of the 
lighter box. So I'm going to drag not the mask, but the title down. I want to make sure I'm clicked on the title. And I will move it below. So it's outside of my mask. So the title will start here at the first keyframe and move up into the mask become visible. Let's play that and I'll show you the technique. And if you want it to move quicker or slower, all you need to do is change the distance between the first keyframe and the second keyframe. Now let's go to the other element that we have here. I'll move up and we're going to highlight Keep Your Doctor. Now I want the Keep Your Doctor to start appearing after the dental available is on the screen and locked in. So you see I'm moving the playhead to see about when that would happen. I'll leave it on just a little bit longer and then we'll start the Keep Your Doctor. So I'm going to take and change the start of Keep Your Doctor, something like this. And then we'll do the same thing. We'll, we'll take the Keep Your Doctor title reveal mask, activate it on the left side, and we'll uncheck aspect ratio on that as well. Now we're going to change the visible area, the mask, And with that done, we're going to move in again about a second. And we're going to set a position keyframe because I want the mask to be right on top of the title at that point. Now we're going to move to the place where we start. And I'm going to take that part, not the mask part, but the keep your doctor part drags straight down and adjust it a little bit so it's pretty much vertical and then it will move up from this keyframe to the second keyframe about the same distance at about the same speed. So we'll go back to the beginning. We'll play this in the title designer and it's pretty much the way I'd like it to be. I'll click on OK when I'm done and when I'm back in my major project I'm going to see the price drop come down and then we'll see these two elements pop up. So that's how to accomplish that in CyberLink PowerDirector using the title Reveal Mask. Mm -hmm.